All right, guys, so just a quick update on what's going on with uh, the holster that Vetter had sent me for review. I know this is kind of funny because you guys are looking at three of the same holster, but I'm going to go through all these holsters with you, and I'm actually going to end up holding on to one of these holsters because, you know, I, I, I do want to uh, use it for a while and uh, you know, then give an honest review. But so far, let me tell you what's going on. So this is the first holster that Vetter had sent me. And if you guys had watched the first video of my first impressions, and I'll leave a link in the description below for that video, right off the bat, and I, you know, I took a look at the holster, but I really didn't take a good look at it. I didn't take the clip off um, or anything like that. But um, as you guys will see, uh, you know, with this first holster, it was making a lot of, it was making quite a bit of contact and wear on the inside. And it was actually marking up the front of the slide of uh, my Glock 19. So then after I kind of did some adjustments, you can see that these holes are completely drilled at an angle. And that's not just these two, it's all of them. They're not drilled straight down through and clean through. They're actually drilled at an angle. And then on the inside of the holster, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but right in here, there's actually some Kydex that's pushed up through that's not cleaned out um, that I think was actually causing the scratches on the Glock 19. So I called them about this first holster. Their customer service is great. They immediately sent me out another holster which was this holster here. So I got this holster. Um, the, the holes are a lot cleaner. Uh, you know, the inside, it's nice and clean uh, on the inside. And again, you guys, you know, the quality and the finish on these holsters are great. Um, so I went ahead and got this one. And unfortunately, right off the bat having the same exact issue with with the rubbing okay so when they had sent me this holster they sent a return label for this one but this was all happening so fast that I didn't get a chance to put this one in the mail yet so I called them about this one explained it in the situation and they had sent me an email, and like once again guys, the customer support is great. They sent me an email saying that they actually, I'm not sure exactly what the full process is yet until I do a full review, but basically sent me an email saying that they're completely like retooling their Glock 19 uh, holster, uh, however they go about doing it, um, and they're gonna send me another one out immediately. So, today, I get this holster. And I'm gonna show you guys something real, real quick here. This one actually fits absolutely perfect. It fits, the, 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 the fit on this is, is great. It, there's, there's no wiggle in here. It ain't going anywhere. Um, but I wanna show you something. Take a look at this. Okay, do you see this right here? And then look how high this is right here, okay? Take a look at that. Right there and right here. Now I'm going to tell you right off the bat because I'm just an honest kind of guy. This is completely 100% unacceptable. This should be form-fitted to the firearm right in this area. And you guys that are familiar with Kydex holsters know exactly what I'm saying. And again, look at this right here, okay? Now, watch this.
Do you see that? Look how perfect this fits to the slide area and how this is actually kind of formed over the slide. Again, nice and clean. It's form fitted very nicely. But this is the second holster that they sent me. Not anywhere as much contact and rubbing as the first holster. But I guess what I'm going to end up doing is just riding this one out and sending the first and the third one back. Now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and send them pictures. But once again, as you guys can see, and this makes a big difference when you're carrying the firearm. I mean, I don't want, most certainly don't want all this extra Kydex. Uh, pushing into my waist. It's just, I mean, it's, I'm not really sure why this is like this, but it's just, to me guys, like I said, I don't know if it's a quality control thing, but it's unacceptable, and I'm gonna get a hold of them that are not open today on Monday, um, and just let them know, hey, you know, I appreciate you sending me out, you know, this for review, and actually, guys, when they sent me the third holster out, they actually sent me this uh, Vetter cleaning mat, which was really nice for them to do. Um, and that's just awesome that they did that. But that being said, again, that's just not working out for me. So uh, I'll update you guys again um, when I finally get a hold of a vetter on this one and maybe even find out why that was going on. And even looking at it, it's just a lot fatter up here simply because this just doesn't have that bend into the top of the slide there. So, you know, the, uh, the fit on this is great as far as uh, inside the holster, but this is the problem in this area, this area right in here. So, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna get a hold of them. Gonna ride this one for a bit, and you know, uh, most certainly come out with the full review. The customer service is great. The response for them getting back to me was really, really good, guys. I, I, I can't say enough of how apologetic they were on the phone, um, and that's very important when it comes to a company. But you know, we're at three holsters now, and with even them saying that they did a whole retooling process um, for this one. Um, and then, you know, having these issues, uh, you know, I, I, I just, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. So, all right, guys, uh, I'll get back to you here in a short amount of time on these holsters and remember friends, be safe, train often, and I'll see you at the range.